Hi guys, today we are going to learn about mesh analysis. Okay, so mesh analysis is simply KVL plus Ohm's law. Mesh analysis is not a new technique, just it is combination of KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Ohm's law. What is KVL? KVL is algebraic sum of voltage drops. Algebraic sum of voltage drops in a closed loop is zero. And Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law is simply V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR. Okay. And when we will go for mesh analysis? When we will go for mesh analysis? If a network consists of more number of voltage sources more number of voltage sources then we will go for mesh analysis okay then we will go for mesh analysis this technique okay if in case in the network if a current sources are present what we will do so by using source transformation techniques source transformation technique i will tell you in the uh, later on videos by using source transformation technique so this current source is converted into voltage source and mesh analysis is applied okay so you will come to understand this mesh analysis by solving a network let us consider this network here there are three voltage sources one is 50 volts and another one is 10 volts and another one is 5 volts. Okay. So, let us consider I1 is the current flowing through this loop in this direction and I2 is the current flowing in this direction and let us consider I3 is the current flowing in this direction. Okay. So, mesh analysis is simply KVL plus Ohm's law. KVL plus Ohm's law. So, KVL, algebraic sum of voltages. See, 50, I am starting from this voltage source, 50 is equal to 10 into I1, applying Ohm's law. 10 into I1 plus, in this 5 ohms resistor, I1 current is flowing in this direction and I2, I2 is also flowing in this direction. So, it is I1 plus I2 current is flowing through this 5 ohms resistor. That is 5 into I1 plus I2, 5 into I1 plus I2 plus 3 into I1 is flowing in this direction and I3 is a flowing in this in, in this direction. So that is resultant is the difference between two currents I1 minus I3. Okay. So it is 10 I1 plus 5 I1 15 plus 3. So it is 18 I1 18 I1 plus 5 I2 plus 5 I2 minus 3i3 is equal to 50. Let us consider this is equation number 1. Now, let us come to the next loop. That is this one, i2 loop. Okay. So, applying mesh analysis, KVL and Ohm's law to this loop. So, that is starting from this point 10 is equal to 2 into what is the current flowing through this resistor that is I2 2 into I2 plus 5 into I2 I1 plus I2 5 into I1 plus I2 current is flowing and in this 1 ohm resistor I2 and 
ayithe these two currents are flowing that is plus 1 into i2 plus i3 currents i2 plus i3 now that is 5i1 5i1 plus 2i2 5i2 and 1i2 2 plus 5 plus 1 8i2 plus i3 which is equal to 10 so let us consider this is equation 2 okay and now for this loop that is for i3 i3 let us start from this point 3 into i1 is entering in this direction and i3 is entering in this direction i1 i3 so we have to take the difference i3 minus i1 plus 1 into in this 1 ohms resistor i3 is flowing and similarly i2 is also flowing in this direction so that is i3 plus i2 with, with respect to this loop so we have to give preference to i3 current i3 plus i2 is equal to minus 5 minus 5 so now minus 3 into i1 minus 3 into i1 plus only 1 i2 i2 plus 3 i3 plus i3 4 i3 is equal to minus 5 let us consider this is equation 3 okay so, on solving these three equations, you will get I1 is equal to minus 3.3 and I2 is equal to 0 0.9 and I3 is equal to minus 1.4. Okay, this is about mesh analysis. Okay, thank you.